Spring break travel is right around the corner and many of you have started your travel plans, which is why I'm here to remind you about the one thing that you always forget and that's back fees. Hello friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Will and I'm a flight attendant based in Orlando. I'm in the process of packing for a four day trip and I thought this was a perfect video for me to tell you how you can avoid those back fees. I see passengers on a daily basis sizing those bags, afraid of paying those fees, but you don't have to worry about that anymore because I am here to talk about the bento bag B4 from our friends at Nomad Lane, which I'd like to thank for sponsoring today's video. This bag comes in different colors and also different hardware colors. As you know, I am a flight attendant, so I decided to go with the black color and I chose the gunmetal hardware so I can use it for my personal travel and also when I go on flight attendant trips. First impression on this bag, I have to say it is so lightweight and I did not expect for the bag to be lightweight, which is nice because when you add all the extra clothes, you don't really think about the weight of the bag. Second thing I noticed right away was a water resistant nylon material this bag is made out of. And lastly, I couldn't help but notice the amount of compartments this bag has. Now before we dive into the different pockets and ways that you can pack this bag, I want to mention that it does come with its own dust bag. So this is perfect for when you're done with your travels. You can just place it here in the dust bag and just put it away and you don't have to worry about it. The second item that it comes with, this padded adjustable shoulder strap with the branding here. You can go with it crossbody if you choose to. This is the other option that you have, just carry it in your shoulder. We're gonna start off with my favorite compartment in this bag, and that is that it opens and packs like a suitcase. You have this mesh divider, which you can put pretty much anything in here. And then on this side, it has a padded laptop sleeve, followed by a zipper compartment, and then you can just place all of your clothes or shoes in here. Oftentimes, the issue with bags that open and pack like a suitcase is that when you need to reach for something in the main compartment, you really don't have easy access unless you open the entire bag. Well, Nomad Lane said we're gonna fix that problem, and there's an additional compartment up top, which is right here, and you can have access to any of the items that you have on this side so that way you don't have to open your bag in the middle of the terminal or the gate for you to reach for your things. Now that we've talked about my favorite compartment in this bag, I want to show you this big front pocket. There's so much room in here for you to place your notebooks, passport, boarding passes, wallet. It has two additional slots for pens. If you're traveling with keys, there's a stretch key ring. I also thought about a different use for this key ring, so I'll show you later when we're packing. Now the next two compartments are pretty genius. Two compartments to store a toiletry bag and a tech bag. These are two of the things that we'll probably need the most when we're in flight because if you didn't know when you're traveling our skin dries up very quickly so having access to lotion, lip balm, or if you're in a long haul flight and you need to brush your teeth you're gonna need this. I am one, two, want to have all my electronics with me and sometimes I try to put everything in my seat back pocket and by having this I don't even need to worry about taking stuff out of my bag and putting it in the seat back pocket. I can put my chargers, my portable charger, I can put my headphones in here and all the other camera gear that I travel with. Now I just put it in here and when I'm in flight and I need something I don't need to worry about leaving anything behind in the seat back pocket. And later in the video we're going to pack this together so I'll show you how you can maximize every single pocket this bag has. We probably use our phones for everything, even boarding passes these days. They created this cell phone pocket that no bag has out there for you to have easy access. This bag also has this trolley sleeve, which oftentimes is just a trolley sleeve, right? Well, they said let's include a zipper at the bottom. Let's make it another compartment. So now all of your essentials in this bag without having to reach for your overhead compartment or get up mid-flight because you can't really fit the bag underneath the seat in front of you. I am going to show you one last compartment that I am thrilled about and that is this water bottle holder. It's like a mesh type of pocket and it's very steady. My water bottle is 26 ounce and it fits perfectly. Time has come so we're gonna go ahead and open our bento back here and we're gonna keep count together. So one, two, three. Oh, this is a pant. <laughs> Four, five, six. So we have about six shirts. The best way that I have found to 
pack the bag and make sure that you're maximizing all this space that you have is just rolling your clothes up. That's the best way that you're going to be able to fit more items. I'm gonna go now with one pair of shorts, two pair of shorts, loungewear, so three and four. Six shirts and four pants on this side. The other side looks like this. Yeah, I'm gonna put my underwear first. So I'm gonna put it under these little pockets. All my underwear. So I have five pair of boxers and then one, two, three, four pair of socks. My pair of jeans, which is gonna go sideways. And then here it goes. Put it right in here, secure it with this little Velcro, and that's it. Now let's pack these two and see how much we can fit in them. We're gonna start off with our tech pouch. I have right here my iPad charger for my iPhone, my Apple Watch. This is my white noise machine. I have my camera charger, and I also have a battery pack. We're gonna go ahead and throw it in there. And then we move on to the toiletry bag. Items that I have here, deodorant, moisturizer cream. I have my forming cream for my hair. I have a soap, lip balm, hand cream, dental floss. It's all packed up and ready with my in-flight essentials. And we're just gonna go ahead and throw it right here. You're probably wondering where's my toothbrush. Well, I have an electric one, which I'm going to throw in this front pocket. And now it is time to pack this front pocket. We're gonna start off with my wallet right here, passport. I have my YouTube planner and my journal. You guys remember the stretch key ring, which is great. Now I will say, if you don't plan to bring your keys, you can always attach your AirPods so that way you don't lose them, which a lot of people do lose when they are in flight. I oftentimes see so many AirPod cases and seat back pockets. So this has a multi-use that I really like, but we're gonna go ahead and throw in the keys over there. And I'm gonna throw my AirPods in here as well. So we're gonna go ahead and close it up. Do you guys remember when I was talking to you about the trolley sleeve? Well, now that it is a pocket, that's going to be the pocket for my iPad. Lastly, don't forget about the phone pocket for easy access, and now we're good to go. One last item, my water bottle. Now let's head over to the airport so that I can show you what this bag will do for you. We have made it to the Orlando airport, and before I head over to the gate, we're gonna go to a few ticket counters and size the bento bag. In the beginning of the video, I told you that I was not only gonna tell you about the bag, but I was gonna show you, so now's the time. So I spent a good chunk of time running around the airport trying to find airline sizers, and I was only able to find four, but I'm gonna go ahead and put in the description box additional measurements for other airlines. So if you are flying with other airlines in the upcoming weeks, you can have that information over there. Now it is time to head over to the gate and catch this flight to Austin. made it to my final destination and it is time to give you my honest opinion about the bento bag because you guys know that I don't come on here to tell you something is good unless I actually try it. My travel experience with the bento bag was great. I do want to say that this bag is perfect if you are traveling with low cost airlines that only allow a personal item. However, if you are traveling with another airline that allows you to bring a carry-on bag, 
This bag also works as a carry-on bag and you can still bring that other personal item. But as you guys know, airlines are increasing those prices and bags and the other airlines operate with that business model of just allowing you a personal item for free. So with that being said, if you are traveling in the next coming weeks, make sure that you look of whether your airline allows your personal item or a carry-on bag because this bag would actually save you on both. My experience with this bag was great. I was able to breeze through security. I didn't have to take anything out of my bag. However, if I did have to take stuff out of my bag, this bento bag makes it so easy that the TSA people will probably won't scream at you. <laughs> After that, it was time to head over over to the gate and you guys probably saw a little bit of how everything went in flight but I felt so comfortable the whole flight and when I needed to access things which I think it was just one time I needed to access something on the tech pouch I was able to just get it right out I didn't have to bother my neighbors what I do like about this bag and fitting underneath the seat in front of you is that oftentimes people bring these bags and they unfortunately delay the boarding process because you know they put their bag in the overhead bin and then they forget something so they have to get up again and then the passenger behind them are trying to get to their seat but the person is trying to reach for the overhead bin it creates a little bit of chaos during the boarding process but this bag will not only save you money it would also give you peace of mind overall it just makes the travel experience so much easy now I am on a four-day trip and this bag has all of my belongings in there and I was able to fit six pair of t-shirts four pair of pants I always travel with hybrid shoes so that I can use for workout and also to go out so I didn't need to pack an extra pair of shoes had I needed to pack an extra pair of shoes I'm pretty sure I would have been able to fit those in the bag and then I had my travel and in-flight essentials so overall I was able to pack everything that I needed for this four-day trip in this bag. So I really hope that this video helps you save money not only in your spring break travel but also on your future travel as well. Now if you want the whole airport to stare at you when you successfully measure your bag before boarding the plane make sure you check out nomadlane.com for the bento bag and use code WILL10 at checkout for 10% discount. Now before I go and before you go make sure you drop in the comments where are you traveling to this spring break. I'm currently in Austin and I'm about to have a fantastic time. If you enjoy learning a bit about how you you can travel smart and also save on back fees go ahead and smash that like button also don't forget to share this video with other friends so that they can save too and i am going to see you next sunday for another video take care